Hello, this is part three <clears throat> to information about, you know, the open carry events that I'm planning. Refer to part one and then part two. As you all know, the first two events that I'm planning are, Cary, are going to be on Cary Street in Richmond, Virginia. Why have I chosen Cary Street? Well, because of one, the play on words. Cary, open carry, Cary Street, open carry street. Two, it has a high foot traffic. It is a non-residential area. Three, it does not have any VCU affiliated buildings or any VCU campus buildings. A lot of you don't realize that if I'm on Broad Street and I walk on the sidewalk, even though I'm on a public sidewalk and there's a VCU campus building to the right of me, I'm pushing the boundaries of what's legal and not legal or what's safe for my well-being and safe for my legal status. The next part about it is if I go on Broad Street and there's this Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble nationally allows open carry if your state allows it. But that particular Barnes & Noble is VCU affiliated and it has an agreement. If I open carry or conceal carry and I go in that Barnes & Noble, I just got brought a gun onto school campus. That's the way they look at it. And I will be arrested. So the section of Carry Street we're on does not have any of that. It also is a high tourist area. People from other parts of Richmond come here. People from other parts of the state come here. So it does broaden and spread the word out. Um, <clears throat> we're just going to pass out flyers. We're going to do up and down, up and down, up and down until we're done with our flyers or until we maybe make about three or four passes. If you get tired, if you don't want to join us anymore and you say, man, I got to go. Thanks for your help. Really appreciate it. Let me have my flyers back and have a nice day, and we'll see you another time. No hard feelings. Um, you don't even have to open carry a gun. You don't even have to pass out flyers. Just by being there and maybe observing is enough to me, in my opinion. Now, I believe that covers everything, but I'm going to touch on one thing, one more thing. This is what I am not all about. And this is what I am about. <clears throat> I am about spreading constitutional awareness. I'm about spreading awareness to our freedoms. I'm not about protesting anarchy. I am not about protesting anything that is ridiculous and crazy and wanting to protest violence with more violence. I do not want any hotheads. I do not want any violent people. I had a person that wanted to come. And they messaged me over Facebook and they said that they were all about, they were not about spreading constitutional awareness for America. They were about spreading anarchy. I do not want that. I'm sorry. If you want to come on Cary Street on the same exact time we're doing it and spread your awareness to your cause, go right ahead. I personally don't want to have anything to do with that. If you don't agree with anything that I'm spreading, talk to me. Ask me if there's a way we could change the flyer or change the message. If I think it's something that jives with what I believe in, I'll be more than happy to do it. If you want to talk about the wars in Iraq or Afghanistan, go right ahead. If you want to talk about legalizing marijuana, go right ahead. Talk to me about it. And I'll try to see if I can fit it in the flyer. I don't want to be passing out multiple flyers, though. If that's the case, I should have a stack of one flyer, the next person have a stack of another flyer, and the next person should have another stack of another flyer. The reason why is eventually you start shrinking the font size down to the point where people can't even read it. So I don't want people who are looking at this as a time where they can protest and spread violence, and be violent, and be aggressive with people. So far, the Richmond Police Department has no problem with us doing this. The third precinct of the Richmond Police Department, which is where Cary Street is covered under, has no problem with us doing this. I've had a sergeant straight up tell me he applauds what I'm doing he has no problem with me doing it. He has no problem with other people joining me as long as they behave, act, and 
do the same thing that I'm doing. Nonviolent, peaceful, non-threatening, flyer, and education. That's it. We want to keep it that way. Little did I know the last three times I've opened carried my long gun in Richmond, I've had 911 calls placed on me. And this is straight from the sergeant of, of the Richmond Police Department. He said, we always drive past you. We always honk your horn and we always let you on. Let you, don't even stop and talk to you. We always call back dispatch and say, he's fine. Don't worry about him. And I want to keep it that way. So if we can continue doing that and we can limit our police encounters, that would be great. If a police encounter does happen, I'm not going to force you to show your ID or anything else that proves you're not a felon. If you have a concealed weapons permit, bring it. If you have a voter registration card, bring it. Why? Those two documents prove that you are not a convicted felon. I'm not going to force you to show that if we do have a police encounter, but I will. I know we have the right via Terry versus Ohio, but I will because at that time this is one of my first police encounters and I don't want to give them any reason <clears throat> to arrest us, detain us, hassle us, or charge us. That's really all that I'm about. I'm going to repost these videos to any future events unless I have some major, major edits. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, message me on Facebook. Ask me for my cell phone number. I will be glad to hand it out if you ask me. And if you think you can meet these criteria and you think that you can maybe be flexible with the bullets and the open carry portion and the loaded chamber indicator, that's fine. The loaded chamber, the, the non loaded chamber, that's fine. Anywho, thank you. Hope to see you guys there.